Hey guys, today we're making a documentary on Martin Luther King Jr. Martin. Oops. Sorry about that. Plain dress up. Eh, keep the hat. Where was I? Oh yeah. So Martin Luther King was a civil rights leader who fought against segregation, racism, especially the cause that provided unfair treatment to African Americans. I believe that everyone was equal, no matter what skin color. That's why fighting for freedom, MLK used peace. He wanted nonviolence and solved conflicts through peaceful protests. Martin Luther King did not have an extremely rough childhood, apart from the racism that happened. He was born on January 15, 1929, Atlanta, Georgia. His father was also a civil rights activist who fought against segregation. Are you seeing that? Growing up, MLK was familiar with his father's actions in fighting in the civil rights? Yes, looks like Martin Luther King followed his father's footsteps. Back to King. So yes, his father was also sick of the injustice, so he fought and took stands by standing up to the racist people out there. Okay, back to King. Again. So let's talk about school. Well, let me tell you that Martin Luther King was highly intelligent and skipped many grades. His education was so successful that he graduated high school at the age of 15. Fortunately, his grandmother passed away, which insanely traumatized little Martin. Good thing he still had the courage to still work very hard and successfully in school. Now it's time to review the stands of his childhood. His childhood. We should mention the ways his childhood had an impact on life. An impact on life. Gianni. Anyway, as you heard, Martin Luther King was an excellent student, a hard worker with excellent grades. And we all know that the Caucasians were very racist, thinking that African Americans were extremely dull and incapable of succeeding. Well, MLK proved them wrong by actually succeeding in school and going to college at the age of 15 from skipping grades. How did that impact the world? Well, his intelligence and mentality is the reason why most African Americans are free. Also, when someone from your family that you are very close to passes away, it distracts you from life surroundings. But Martin Luther King stepped up and pushed himself at school to be as good a student as he could be, a.k.a. the best. Did you know that King's high school years, he was known to be a precious student? And? Well, that's one thing that proves the stands taken in his childhood. Homie, remember um that part about his Daddy and footsteps, etc. Oh, yeah. Well, MLK's dad did do the same thing MLK did in his adult years, and that's basically taking stands, since you stand up to the unfair people and do what you truly believe in. Agreed. January 15, 1929, Martin Luther King Jr. was born on 501 Armour Ave, Atlanta, Georgia. August 6, 1942. Martin Luther King's letter to the editor mentioned the African American people are authorized to the main right and opportunities of American citizens. September 20th, 1944, King graduates high school and goes to Morehouse College at the age of 15. September 1st, 1955, Rosa Parks was arrested for refusing to give up her seat on the bus. So Martin Luther King and a group decided to boycott the bus act. January 27th, 1956, keeping on fighting for freedom, King gets a threatening phone call late in the evening. The phone call increased Martin Luther King's courage to fight for freedom. January 30th, 1956, Martin Luther King's house exploded due to a bomb that was put inside his house. Fortunately, his family was not injured. 
his final act in Gather a Name Crowd and Big for Nonviolence. January 10th and 11th on 1957, African American ministers from the South meet up to share strategies in the fight against segregation. King was known as chairman of Southern Negro Leader Conference on Transportation and Nonviolent Interrogation. February 18th. 1957. Martin Luther King was on a Time magazine. On September 20th, 1958, the leader gets stabbed by Isola Blair Curry while attending a book signing at Blumstein's department store. In December 16th, 1961, Martin Luther King is arrested while continuing his campaign. July 10th, 27th of August 1962, King gets released from prison. June 11th, 1964, MLK gets sent to prison for ordering service at white only restaurants. On April 4th, 1968, Martin Luther King is assassinated by the Rain Motel, who is sent to prison for life. Oh, Gianni, don't cry. Oh no, buddy. I know. But it's the final scene and the viewers won't have more time to enjoy our documentary. It's okay, Gianni. They can put our likes on YouTube. We also need to be on our best because this is the best part. Best for last. <gasps> oh yes! Ready? Steady! Go! MLK was a civil rights leader who fought against racism and segregation. He believed that everyone was equal. Yes, and his father was also a civil rights leader. Growing up, MLK learned about segregation and later followed his father's footsteps. As I recall, MLK was a brilliant student and even more brilliant leader. He skipped two grades and graduated high school at the age of just 15. MLK took many stands by standing up to the racist and pushing the limit on ending all of this inequality. Traveling to places with people dealing with the same things, him and his actions were so effective that the voice that everyone was talking about, he became on pictures, TV. The more he did, the more he worked. People started changing their minds little by little. Segregation decreased slowly. Can I say it? Yes, you can do the honors. Damn, baby! You know how Martin Luther King made an extreme amount of speeches? We are going to talk about his most popular speech. I, I have, have a dream. dream. King made an extremely long march in Washington, D.C. with 250,000 people, with millions of people watching on TV for freedom. The name of the march was March on Washington. He ended the Freedom March with a long speech. Are you going to say it? <laughs> yes. I have a dream. So that was a part of his speech. In the speech, King wanted to prove people that they were doing was wrong and unfair. He gave them proof by reminding them about important points of history. He reminded them about the revolution. The British restricting and violating the colonists' rights. And how the colonists loathed their actions so they fought. Fought for freedom, made the Declaration of Independence, explaining that colonists' rights that were important and that should have been protected. King also reminded them of slavery and how they were not free, beaten and treated unfairly. One hundred years later and a black man is still not free. Shortly after that speech, the beginning of the abolishment of segregation had started. Thank, thank you, Martin, you Martin Luther, Luther King, King Jr. And thank you for watching.